In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a custom quiz results slide in the all-new Adobe Captivate. I'm Paul Wilson, and I make YouTube videos about e-learning, specifically with Adobe Captivate. If you like what I'm doing here, please subscribe to my channel, like this video, and by all means, share this video with your e-learning colleagues. I got a message the other day from one of the viewers of my YouTube channel asking how they could hide the continue button on the quiz results slide. And to be honest with you, I really hadn't considered this before, but there are some limitations with the built-in quiz results slide. In the past with Adobe Captivate Classic, I've actually achieved this by creating a custom quiz results slide. I'm going to do the same thing today with the all new Adobe Captivate and show how you can not only hide the continue button or show the continue button or show your retake quiz or course button, but to do a couple of other things as well, provide unique feedback for those one of situations that you might run into. Let's take a look. Okay, so I've built this very simple project. I've used the example uh, CSV file to import a bunch of question slides that are all related to Adobe Captivate. And anytime you add scorable quiz questions to your project, you're going to end up with a quiz results slide here. Now, the problem with this quiz results fine is fine for the most part, but you know, you have, of course, this the interaction results over here and on pass you can go to the next slide or do a bunch of other things and on fail you can have a different set of actions here of course you can set your percentage here and the number of attempts if you wish i'm going to allow students to attempt this three times so if they arrive on this slide the third time not successful they'll run out of tries the downside of the built-in quiz results slide is there's only a pass or fail message. So I really can't do very much with this. I can't show, sorry, you've run out of tries, go see your manager or something like that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to um, copy some of this content into a new slide. So let's first of all, just simply create a blank slide so I'm going to first of all add a paragraph block because I'm going to use uh, you know the title from there. I am going to keep this body text though because I'm going to use that for my feedback since there is no feedback caption like there is with a regular quiz results slide. So I'm going to keep that there. Uh, I'm just going to borrow even the font size and everything from the other slide itself here. Now here I'm going to need three states because I want to show you successfully completed the course, you failed the course and you could take another attempt or you failed the course and you've run out of tries. Go see your manager for next steps. So let's start off with the correct state. This will be my default state. We'll just say you have successfully passed quiz. Press the continue button to proceed or something like that. I'm going to add an additional state and we're going to call this state failed. Now, when you failed, this will be you were not successful. Press the retake quiz or retake course button to try again. And I prefer retake course. Adobe Captivate does a retake quiz on its results slide. But I sort of think if you weren't successful the first time, you might want to review the material as before. So I'm going to show you how to do a retake course button as well. We're going to need one more state, and this will be out of tries. And the message will be, you have used up all your attempts. Please see your supervisor for next steps, right? So let's just add some other stuff here. Now I wanna, again, kind of replicate what's on this slide here. So I'm gonna go back here and I'm gonna insert a multi-column text block here. Let's first of all, make sure my items are centered there. 
I'm going to turn off the body. We're just going to keep that. I'm going to tighten this up a little bit too here. You can just copy and paste literally what you have on this slide here. It'll look a little different because it's not exactly the same text block here. So I will just take a few moments to copy all that, including the variables. And so I'm going to need a total of six of these. So let's control D to duplicate this until I have six of these data points on the screen. And I'll just take a few moments to copy and paste all the content from the regular quiz results slide. Okay, so I have all of these elements there. Last thing I'm gonna need is a button block. So we'll go ahead and we'll add that. It's important to plan out your button blocks because if you decide to have, let's say three buttons, and you wanted to change the order, it's very difficult to, well, it's impossible to do that. So I'm gonna choose three buttons in this case here, but you can choose what's appropriate for you. I'm gonna center those. I'm gonna have the first button to be retake quiz, and the next one will be retake course, and this last one will be continue, okay? Let's make sure I've labeled these items appropriately. Let's go back here and I'm gonna call this my feedback caption. I'm gonna call this retake button, retake course, and continue button. Now, I'm going to go back to my quiz results slide here. I pretty much have everything I need from that. And I'm gonna hide the results slide so users won't see this. But remember, you're still gonna need to go in and set how you want the course to work. So we're still gonna have 80% to pass, you know, because a lot of the functionality of this slide doesn't matter whether you see the slide or not, but you can set the action for, for this continue button. We're gonna create our own continue button. But things like the number of attempts, three, you don't really need to show a retake button in this case because again we're going to hide the whole slide here and you'll notice that in your slide sorter it just kind of looks a little grayed out or whited out there and it of course has the eyeball symbol with a line through it letting you know that that's not visible and so when you finish the quiz you're going to see my custom quiz results slide here so we want to do a couple of things let's take care of the buttons at the bottom here so continue it will simply go to the next slide Click done, and that's pretty straightforward. I have a final here where I'm just gonna say congratulations or something like that, okay? Now for retake quiz and retake course, they're almost the same button, but what we need retake quiz to do is a couple of things. The first thing we need is we need a little JavaScript here. So I'm gonna scroll down to where I can run some JavaScript and I'm gonna paste in cp quiz info dot reset quiz with uh, parentheses and of course a semicolon just to finish out the line there. And we'll click on done. And that's gonna reset, you know, cause once you've finished a quiz, your question slides will be locked. So this will reset those and, and return them to normal. And in the case of retake quiz, we're going to go to slide the first multiple choice here, okay? And click done, okay? That takes care of that. We're gonna do exactly the same thing. So I'm gonna actually select my run JavaScript command and copy that. We'll go to retake course and we're gonna go to slide, in this case, the introduction slide. And there could be a lot of other content there. And I'm also gonna paste in that run JavaScript command and we'll move that up to the top there. So now we have our JavaScript running and we're gonna go to slide number one. Continue will take you to the next slide and retake quiz will run the JavaScript but go to the first question slide there. So all that we need now is a way to either change our feedback or show or hide the various buttons under the different circumstances that we're gonna run into here. So we're gonna need a slide level interaction for that. We'll click on plus and we'll do slide enter here. And this will be a set of conditional actions. So we're gonna click on the plus here 
and we're going to say if our variable, now you might be thinking to yourself, Paul, you've made variable videos before, you haven't created any variables. This is all strictly system variables. So I'm going to click on system here, and we're going to use the search functionality, and just type in the word quiz. So the first one we're looking for is uh, quiz pass. So we're going to select that. We're going to say if quiz pass is equal to a value of true, this is a true false variable, and then press save, we're going to do a number of things. First of all, if you've passed, I only really want you to continue. So I'm going to show my continue button and press next. I can reset state on slide revisit, which is fine, and done. I also want to hide the retake and retake, retake quiz and retake course buttons. Easy enough to do. So we'll do hide, retake quiz, retake course, and done and reset state on slide revisit. Lastly, we want to change the feedback caption to reflect your results here. So add new action, set state of our feedback caption. I've labeled it there so it's easy to select and find. And because this is successful, we're going to use the default state here. So we'll just click next, reset state on slide revisit, and done. So that takes care of the first part of our on enter action here. So we want to cover all our bases here. So let's add new action. It's also going to be another set of conditions to look at here. So if our same variable as before, we'll search for it here, quiz pass is equal to a value of false, press save, and we're going to add another condition to this because again we want to look at um, quiz attempt count right so we'll add another condition and we'll say if quiz pass is equal to false and the variable go to system here and we're searching for quiz and we're looking for quiz attempt count and in this case we want to look for is less than a value of three. So you're, uh, you've, you have more tries available to you here. So we'll press save and that takes care of the condition part. So what do we want this slide to look like if you failed, but you still have attempts left? Well, we're going to show our retake quiz and retake course buttons. And what else are we going to do? Well, we're going to make sure that we are hiding the continue button. And last but not least, we want to set the state of our feedback caption to failed and this is failed as in you failed but you still have more tries and we'll click next reset state on slide revisit and done so that takes care of two of our conditions let's add a third condition and that's going to be when you failed but you've used up all your tries here so add new action the condition will be we'll look at the variable first of all quiz pass There it is there. If it is equal to a value of false, press save. And adding another condition here, our variable. And we'll go to system and search for quiz attempt count is greater than or equal to a value of three then we actually want to hide all our buttons because you're done, you can't do anything else at this point. And we're also going to set the state of our feedback caption to out of tries. So let's press next, reset state on slide revisit, and then done. So it looks complicated, but in the description of the video, I'll put the 
step-by-step -step for this for you as well. So it'll be very clear. Uh, one thing to point out is that if you are um, an all-in-one member of my YouTube channel, you'll be able to download this project for free as well. So that'll be part of your uh, monthly allotment of free project files that you get. Um, so I think we're pretty much good to go here. We can test this out. So I'm gonna go back up to the top here. I think I've done everything. We'll find out soon enough. And I'm gonna purposely fail this quiz a number of times so we can see those possibilities there. So let's preview. And uh, I think in this case, I would normally hide my play bar because obviously we're restricting navigation for folks as well and maybe add some you know, uh, buttons here. But for our purposes today, this is fine. So we'll start this here. And I'm just gonna randomly select things and get things wrong until we get, maybe I'll get some of them right by accident, but that's okay. I'll make just one choice here and we'll leave that as it is, that's incorrect. And we'll call this web video and submit. There we go. So you were not successful. This is my custom quiz results slide. This is not the built-in results slide. You were not successful. Press the retake quiz or <laughs> retake course button to try again. So all the data points are right there. Number of attempts, one. I can still retake the course. So let's retake. Uh, and again, really the only difference between these two buttons is which slide it's taking you to. So let's just retake the quiz. So now I can make another selection. I've reset the quiz here and uh, I'll get it wrong again. So we can just see again uh, the next message, false. Uh, we'll just choose something there. That's fine. Okay, so I made two attempts. You were not successful. Please retake, uh, so I can retake again. I'll just hit the retake course button so we can test that functionality out there. And we'll just choose some stuff here. And uh, we'll just keep getting wrong answers or not enough right answers at the very least there. And that's fine. And we'll just type in what we wrote before here. Oh, you've used up all your attempts. So this is my third try. Please see your supervisor for next step. So I've made three attempts. I failed once again. Uh, no good. Let's reset this and let's do it correctly this time. Okay, let's make a, an attempt this time. This time will be success here. So timeline widget is the correct answer. Uh, true. All of the above true and uh, we'll just quickly select paragraph image checkbox and carousel there we go and uh, so I think that's it that's correct and Vimeo and YouTube there we go. So you notice that uh, the uh, retake buttons are gone. You've successfully passed the quiz. Press the continue button. And then we get to our final congratulations slide where, you know, you can give uh, supplementary content or you could use uh, the really cool certificate widget and the, the user could print off their uh, results slide and continue with the rest of their day. If you thought this video was helpful, please like and share it with your colleagues. If you need help with Adobe Captivate, hire Paul for one-on-one -on -one instruction. Paul's goal is to focus on lessons based on your specific needs. Visit his website at CaptivateTeacher.com. And don't forget to subscribe to his YouTube channel.